Outside of Hollywood, 94.3% of films produced worldwide are by independent filmmakers. That's one out of 10 films that do not get a theatrical release. But these films are valuable and embrace distinctive and culturally diverse stories. Atlas Shorts makes it easy for indie filmmakers and content providers to broadcast their films and visual media directly to libraries, teachers, student patrons globally. We're building a world of curiosity connected by filmmaking and visual storytelling. We work closely with educators to source, match and proactively recommend content with curricula and syllabi, streaming in situ with their LMS. This helps indie filmmakers get paid and teachers enhance courses which attract new students every year. We've acquired a leading Australian university and we're generating 30k in AI. We currently have 18 pilots with some of the largest universities and colleges who represent over 400,000 teachers and students. And this is only on our janky minimum viable product. Over the past 12 weeks, we've expanded our content offering. We're sponsoring the Atom Awards, Australia's largest student film and photography prize, increasing exposure in a growing K-12 sector. And we've generated 3,000 leads from the top film schools in 65 countries. We are opening our round today and we are seeking a minimum of $600,000 to complete phase two of our product roadmap. We are on a mission to connect the world through shared stories. And over the next 24 months, we're going to do it. So join us on our journey. What a video. <laughs> Exciting. Well, hello again, everyone. Uh, just in case I wasn't memorable the first time around, my name's Sasha, and I run the Accelerator at Sam. And I've had the pleasure of working closely with Karim and Bruce over the last 12 weeks uh, as they've been growing Atlas Shorts. Um, so to kick it off, Karim, I'm keen to hear a bit more about how you both came to starting Atlas Shorts. What's the story? Yeah, thanks, Sasha. Um, so I come from a filmmaking uh, background and I, I went to drama school. And in uh, 2012, I was in my first year of, of drama school and I made a film with my brother who was in his final year of film school. And that, that little short film that we made went to the Cannes Film Festival and a number of um, local and international film festivals. And it was there that I you know, was just enamored by the extraordinary amount of content that's produced annually. Um, and, and that you know, got me thinking at the time why there wasn't a sort of centralised repository for all of this material. As the years have progressed, you know, I've, I've become um, deeply connected to the problem of, of IP wastage and how we can lengthen the life cycle of a piece of intellectual property and monetize it consistently over time. Um, and so that's, what, that's what's led us into education. I've also, as a, as a former actor, you know, I've, I've seen some of the most talented people um, struggling to, to build a viable, you know, to earn a viable living for themselves. And, um, and that's why I'm so passionate connected to helping pave a pathway towards sustainability in the visual arts. So that's true. Yeah, so I'm, I'm from a technology background. I love film as a, as a viewer. I love independent film and independent voice. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, with technology into higher education. And I really see an interesting um, collision there between visual arts, education, and independent voices. Such an interesting backstory. Can you maybe talk through the problem a little bit more that creators are facing when they're trying to get their content into the hands of their audience? Sure. Sure. Um, I think that the education market has typically been run uh, or um, sort of owned by a number of incumbent suppliers that have been around for many decades. And um, those suppliers through to the market tend to only represent probably around 6% of the world's global content supply. Um, and that's, you know, you know, there's a statistic at the beginning of our film that's, you know, 94.3% of films produced worldwide outside of Hollywood are by independent filmmakers. I think what's really important is that we open up this market and democratise access for these um, independent creators who, as we've seen with the proliferation of the creator economy, are starting to rely on these services to control their own distribution. And that, we're hoping, is a, is a really um, great way of of helping them, um, you know, earn a sustainable living for themselves and education, as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, being the market that increases the life cycle of the work that they create. So interesting. Hi, Lauren. Say thank you very much for an awesome short and as 
special will actually get to see one ever on stage tune of an update from the Fed. This is a great opportunity. Jump into the Lahendis or jump into Karim and Bruce. See you in the break.